Krzyżanowski, a former professional boxer in his first big strongman event. Severe test of strength and stamina for Adrian Rollinson from Dudley in the West Midlands, his first ever World's Strongest Man competition. One of the heaviest Lane men one, here, Adrian weighs Robinson, over 155 England. kilos. The very Lane tall two, figure, Phil Fister, Fister USA. Charleston in the United States. His second competition in World's Lane Strongest Man. Zidrunas Zavikas. Zidrunas Zavikas of Lithuania. The Baltic States, a tremendous in tradition four, in strength. Marius Pujanowski. Marius Pujanowski, another first timer. In lane five, Peter Balters. Peter Holland. Balters from Holland. Started off thinking he was only going to be a reserve here. Six, now he's Laszlo in the competition Fekete proper. Laszlo Fekete of Hungary. Another man who weighs over 300 pounds in body weight. Dr. Douglas Edmonds, the referee, will send them on their way down the course as fast as possible. This, the biggest tyre ever that's been in World's Strongest Man, weighs over 350 kilos. And Zavikas is going well, as is the pole here. Pudzianowski, a shade over six feet tall, but 20 stones of solid muscle. But falling behind on that flip, behind Savikas. Peter Baltus of Holland is going well too. Adrian Rollinson on the far side, struggling just a little bit. And now it's neck and neck between Pudzianowski in the red and Savikas. It's going to be so close. Well, the Lithuanian has done it. He looked across at the referee. Pudzianowski finished in second. And Baltus in third, flat on his back. It's a European one, two, three. Phil Fister of the USA finishes in fourth place. Adrian Rollinson there, absolutely exhausted. He is finished, but he's down in fifth. Well, only one more guy to finish, and that is Laszlo Fekete of Hungary. He's going to run out of time, so not a good start for the Hungarian. Uh, Marius, how do you feel about that? Uh, good. Is second place okay for you? <laughs> okay. And any idea how it might go in the next few events? No. Not sure. Okay. Well, we could be struggling for some in-depth analysis here from the two leaders, uh, the Lithuanian and the Pole in first and second place. Especially when the Boris pressure is on. Pudzianowski. And it's on Pudzianowski at the moment. He really is enjoying himself Take here. It's been position. a real revelation. Take your grip. In second place, after and event lift. one behind Zavikas, and I think he would be surprised to see that Zavikas only covered 68 metres. So, Pudzianowski trying to chase this massive distance by Phil you? Fister of 94 metres. One of the most incredible things I've seen in World's Strongest Man in many years. Looking comfortable. He's not tall. He's got a tremendous background, though, of powerlifting and bodybuilding. And those immensely strong arms wrapped around this giant stone of Africa. Pudzianowski is going well, heading towards the chance to turn once again. Now, can he do it? He certainly walked himself into second place so far. Can he go for first? The chase is on. Could he even become the first man to go over 100 metres? He's going to go past yes. Phil Fister. Incredible. Approaching 100. Absolutely magnificent. His first ever World's Strongest Man competition. And that is absolutely brilliant. He's still going. The whole crowd so impressed with this guy. Compact, but brilliantly strong. And he gave that not just 100%, but everything else as well. 110 metres. Tremendous, and it gives him six points. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm very happy about the Grand competition Prix. so far. I didn't think I'd do this well. Yes, OK. San City is beautiful. <laughs> A happy pole, but a not very happy Hungarian, Laszlo Fekedi, forced to pull out with injuries. So just five left in this heat, and it could be very tight. As you can see, just four points separating the top four strongmen after two events. In the right lane, we've got Mariusz Pudzianowski from Poland. Mariusz Pudzianowski. Oh, solid muscle, this guy. 
Phil Fister on the far side, the American. Philip Fister from USA. The big point at stake once again, Pudzianowski it was, of course, who won the, the previous event. I wonder if he can do two in a row. But what a time that's been set by Zavikas, 31.6. Fister is going well, just a little bounce and up. Bounce and up again, this is good stuff from the American. Pudzianowski's just moving across, almost encroaching on Fister's territory. And the pole actually moving ahead now. Good stuff from Pudzianowski, look at his muscles, straining. One more step to go. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Oh, brilliant. 28 seconds. That is unreal. That is unbelievable. And Fister was left in his wake after a very promising start. Pudzianowski, maximum points again. What a start for this newcomer. Well, that start event won. It was hard, but I managed to do it, and I'm grateful. Ale mi się Thank udało. You. Najlepszy czas jest 30 zawodników. Dzięki. It's easy? Easy for you? Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Take your grip. Lift. So here we go. Pudzianowski against Sabikis. Lithuania against Poland. Well, these two guys, certainly not accomplished weightlifters, but incredibly strong. Keep your feet straight, buddy. Oh, Douglas Edmonds saying to both of them, when Four. you make the overhead lift, keep, keep your, your feet, feet still. Four. And Pudzianowski, in fact, three, had to three, lift three, twice. Four. And three, he's on the move again. Five. He doesn't understand what Dougie Edmonds is saying to him, and that five, is a big problem. Six. He's actually had the bar above his head seven times, but there's only three. five to his credit at the moment. Six now. Seven. Look at the size of that guy's shoulders and arms. It's head to head at seven each. Now it's eight. Closing in on the leader, Phil Fister. They're all level. Who's going to go ahead first? Pudzianowski is. Then Savikas. Can we see ten for the first time this year? Yes, we can. The pole moves ahead. Savikas presses it out. Oh, that is incredible strength. And tremendous stamina, too. Pudzianowski leading by a whisker. Can he take maximum points? Time has run out. The pole wins it. And Savikas in second place. That is great stuff from both men. Pudzianowski, though, I'm sure now through to the final. And I think he realises that, too. You, don't, you did not understand your feet all the time doing this? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You, you did I? One, two. Ah! Yeah. Like to 15, okay, yeah, like to 15, okay, yeah, like to one, two, two. But, but you are in the final. Congratulations. It's, it's good? Yeah, thank you. Getting on like a house on fire now, me in the pole. Uh, Zvika's in second place, Fister in third. That just about cooked Baltus's goose because, as you can see, he's way off the pace now. Pujanowski through, just one more event to decide who'll join him. On the left, Zadrina Savikas, well, Lithuania. Savikas closest to the camera. Pujanowski in the red is already right, guaranteed a place in the final Poland. and enjoying every minute of it. Now, what can Savikas do? He's got to beat Peter Baltus's time of four stones, if not more, but four stones certainly in 25.7, which in itself is a heck of a target. It's neck and neck, they're both on number two. Pudzianowski keeping contact with the Lithuanian. If the Lithuanian could do five, he would get in the final. That one almost went over the back, he threw it up there with such force. And the marshal's coming onto the course now, the rain is beginning to fall, so Jamie Reeve and Yuka Ahola on there to watch out for the safety of these guys. Pudzianowski just trying to get the fifth up, Incredible stuff, he's done it! Oh, that is the cream on top of the cake for the pole. Now, just watch Savikis. It's all over for Phil Fister. If he gets it up, but he hasn't done it. And I think, I think on count back, Phil Fister will make it through to the final because the American has won two events. 
and that was one of them. All five stones in 39.1. That was pretty impressive, but it was a stone too far for Zavikas. He's eliminated. A really tough heat, though. As the second group come out onto the course, Kudzianowski, what a performance in his heats with three Let first places in the event. He really is some athlete, this guy. Herod Bardenhorst in the final Canada. once again. In the twilight of his career, but still an outstanding performer. Lane three, Phil Fister, USA. Phil Fister, and we remember a tremendous performance by him in the Atlas Stones. Yanni Virtanen, he won five events in his heat. Sven Carlsen, last year, this was the first event, and he won it. I wonder if he can repeat that feat. Take your position. This really is a very, very competitive group. But 17.8 seconds, the time to beat by Magnus Samuelsson. What? Phenomenal. <laughs> Away we go. Now then, Carlsen starts well. Carlsen is going well. The Norwegian tearing down the course. Oh, he's put yards between himself and the rest. This is incredible. Carlsen surely is going to beat Samuelsson's time. He's done it again. He blew Samuelsson's time out of the water. Vantanen finishes second. Badenhorst coming through, maybe just ahead of Kudzianowski by a fraction. And Phil Fister struggling down the course. The American's got a real problem. He's a very tall man, and that is a disadvantage. But Sven Carlson has taken this event by the scruff of the neck and beaten everybody hands down. Viking power does it again. A brilliant start, and I bet Samuelson can't believe it. I almost lost it, but I got it under control again. Perfect start for you. Yeah, I needed that because the next three events, I don't know anything about. Well, Carlson out of the tracks like a whippet, but he won the first event last year. The first four places filled by the four favourites, Rob Dixon back in eight. Well, that was the fastest time we've seen in this event so far. Now we come to the two smallest men in World's Strongest Man final this year. Rob Dixon from York, Marius Pudzianowski of Poland, they both weigh less than 20 stones. And when you consider some of the monsters taking part in this competition, that may well be a disadvantage, but they're two big muscle men, no doubt about that. Pudzianowski was the fastest man in the heats at 28 seconds, but that time has been beaten by Martin Muir. Look at this, a little touch on each step and then he climbs to the next one. Rob Dixon about four steps behind at the moment. Now come on Rob, you need good points here. Pudzianowski, look at his arms, they're about fit to explode. Magnificent, chasing Martin Muir's time at 27.9, just outside. Tremendous competition already in this final, 28.7 for Pudzianowski. So his performance in the heats was no fluke, that's for sure. Rob Dixon has beaten his target in the heats of 19. He's on to step number 21, but how much has he got left? Come on, Rob. He changed his grip just as he said he would, but it's all over for Rob Dixon. Disappointment for him. It was eighth place in the last event for Rob Dixon. And this could be even worse, with a lot of good competitors yet to go. Pudzianowski, well, a real test for him. We've discovered already what a tough little customer this guy ready? is. Well, when yeah. I say little, Alice. it's yes. all relative. Martin Muir what? of Germany. Oh, Muir just struggling a little bit to get that car up. Over a ton this car weighs, 1,400 kilograms in total. 70 seconds plus the target. I wonder if either of these guys can get amongst them. Looking pretty composed. Not looking at each other. They're trying to block out everything just to concentrate on their own performance. Beyond 25 seconds now. Muir looking relaxed. Pudzianowski grimacing all the time. The grip so important, helped by those straps. Look at those rippling muscles. Unbelievable. This guy is more like a bodybuilder. Muir hanging on for dear life now. Pudzianowski, solid as a rock. No movement in either of them. Muir goes down though, the first at 49.7. Now the chase is on. Already, 
Pudzianowski is in second place and heading towards Samuelson's lead. 70 seconds is the target. Can he do it? Three to go. Two, one. He's done it. He's won the event. Poland get 10 points. Absolute yes, delight yes, for Pudzianowski. Yes, yes. Well, he doesn't speak very good English, but I think yes, we all understand yes. that. Was very good for you, yes? It was very hard for me to lift the car. It was very hard, but I managed it. Now I have to keep on fighting. No, I still am at the top. I won't give up until the end. Feeling good? Yes. Only eight men left. Samuelson doubtless delighted that only the pole beat his time. But what all that means is we have a titanic contest in Bosnia with just three points separating five points. I'll tell you one thing, Janit Veltinen on the far side there in the blue will not play Mario safe here, he's got to go for it. Marius Pudzianowski, what a tremendous addition to World's Strongest Man he's been this year. Well, when we saw the heats, Veltinen at this stage had already won three events. He's chasing his first victory here. <laughs> away we go, Veltinen the quickest away. Oh. My goodness, he's got muscles coming out of his ears, this guy. Vertanen covering up against the sun, makes the turn quickly. He's sprinting. He's already caught the pole. This is unbelievable. 25.6 the target. Vertanen is flying. This is brilliant. Absolutely superb. He's going to be so close. He's done it. He's done it by a whisker. 25 seconds dead. Pudzianowski under 30 seconds as well, so more good points for the pole. And at last, Janne Vakanen has got the victory he wanted. Ten big points for Finland. So Vietnam breaks his duck, less than two seconds separating the top four, but that was a bad result for Pudzianowski. Vietnam now three points clear, but there's only five points separating the top four, Martin Muir dropping off the pace. Marius Pudzianowski, by far and away, the lightest man left in this final. Now, he's about a stone lighter than anybody else. I think he's got more muscles than anybody else, though. Oh, look at his arms. Those arms are about 23 inches around the bicep, and that is incredible. But will his lack of body weight hamper him on this event? He's got to stay low. He's never done this sort of event before. Not at this level, anyway. He's competed a lot in Europe and Poland. Heading towards the halfway point, now slowing down because the other 18 tons are on the move, though. Pudzianowski, superb with one victory in the final so far. And this is very, very first World Strongest Man final. He's swaying around a lot. You've got to keep in a straight line. He's growling at himself. There's about six metres to go before the line. Can he make a move on Carlson's time of 54-7? Fister still in the lead. It's just ahead of Carlson. Oh, only just 0.7 of a second. Still two very good men to go, Samuelson and Vertanen. But Pudzianowski in second place for the time being, in third place overall before this event. That certainly was a great performance by Fister. So what can Carlson and Pudzianowski do? You may have heard Carlson say he's not fit enough yet. Well, I don't know what he has to do to become world's strongest man, but he is nine points behind the overall leader at the moment, Vertanen. Pudzianowski is only six points behind. And despite the fact there's two events to go, anything can still happen. Five fingers the target. Both men throw that first one up. It only weighs 200 kilograms. Oh, incredible, guys. And Carlson is going for it. Make no mistake, he will not have given up on the chase for this title. That is number three in super fast time. Pudzianowski's never done this event before, so finding the technique a little bit alien. Number three for the pole, number four for Sven Carlson, now for number five, chasing Phil Fister's time. Bristling with muscles is Pudzianowski. Carlson is going to do it, surely. Down it goes, 300 kilograms of steel, and that is the fastest time by far. 
Marius finishes with three fingers, and Carlsen is flying. That is the fastest time we've ever seen this event completed in. Sven Carlsen. I think one day he might be champion, but I don't think it's going to be this year. On the left, Pudzianowski, his debut in World's Strongest Man. Good target by Moore, the German, 54.2. Right, but Sven Carlsen standing next to Pudzianowski set a new world record Get in the heats ready. of just over 33 On seconds. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, Carlson struggling a little bit on the first one, sprinting into the wall, both guys. It's neck and neck. Now Carlson gets into his stride. Up it goes. Pudzianowski just a fraction behind. This is very fast from the Norwegian. Pudzianowski is going to be one of the great competitors of the future, that's for sure. Carlson is on number five already. Unbelievable, and it's not even at 30 seconds. He's done it. Just outside 30 seconds, 30.7. I'm not sure anybody can beat that. Can Pudzianowski do five? Come on. The crowd roaring him on. He's got plenty of time to do it. Marius has done it. That is superb. Carlson jumping for joy in the background. What a finish by the Norwegian. Tremendous performances from both men.